it's beginning to look a lot like swell hell. Hi you guys and welcome back to Hannah's Life. Okay, we have made it a month and I realize I have not updated you guys. You have not seen my body since then. <sighs> since my three week update, I think it was three week. I think that's what we were at. So we made it a month. We're five days past a month, but who's counting? Anyway, you guys, I'm super excited. I have a lot to share with you. What my body's been going through. <laughs> what I'm looking like um and you know I got a lot of stuff to update you guys on so one let's just go I know you guys are here to see the body so I will go ahead and show you again I said I'm ext please don't fall camera I'm extremely swollen you guys I am hard as a rock like all the way up to here that's not good so I've learned I need to sit down more um Alaska got dumped on, so I had to go out there and shovel. Oh my gosh, I'm so swollen. I look like I'm pregnant, but it's okay because we're going to trust the process. Okay, yeah, I was a lot flatter. I will try to insert a picture if I can. I know I took a lot with no clothes on, so I'm going to try to update a picture on my body when it was super, super flat before shoveling. So like I said, Alaska, we got dumped on we got like three feet of snow and your girl just could not sit down and let someone else shovel so yeah I um am doing a hair mask I'm getting ready to jump in the shower and you guys I got the okay to go ahead and use these I purchased these off of Amazon these are there you go these are little strips you put over your incision so as you guys can see I got one over here and I think I'm allergic to this um, I got really really itchy around it um, yeah that's how my scar is looking right now again super super swollen everything was so flat prior to shoveling and I kind of screwed it up for myself but we're gonna go ahead and take a shower and we're gonna use this I'm kind of nervous hopefully these are already in cut pieces because girl's a little nervous oh well clean and dry scar area cut okay so I have to cut it it's okay also I want to share with you guys so I purchased this Baja and ab board I'm still using the ab board I purchased this off of Amazon if you guys are getting a tummy tuck you definitely want to have one of these these help with the swelling so much so you put this underneath your garment whether it is I can't get to it okay so whether it is the binder that they send you home with in the hospital or if you purchased a faha so a faha is just let me put in. Oh, of course it's inside out get your is together okay so yeah your binder is just this little thing that you slip on put your legs in this is the shaper x i showed you guys this a while ago i have graduated from this um, it is now loose on me. So yeah, I might still be swollen, but I know I'm making some progress. We're going to stay positive over here. We are positive. Um, I just ordered a new one off of Amazon, a size medium. That one is a size large. I'm super excited. Um, I'm trying not to get down about the swelling. I talked to a lot of my other friends that have gotten a tummy tuck in the past, and they were also really kind of whoops. Hannah, you need to be sitting down because they all watched me over on my Instagram shoveling and getting after it. And that was probably the stupidest thing I could have done for myself. So, yeah. Um, but they promised me the swelling will go down. I am just a month, just a little over a month post-op. And I, I honestly, Dr. Brujano did a great job. I love my belly button. I love it. And I love, again, he got rid of the scar. That was all the way, like, yeah, my scar was, yeah, it was bad. But yeah, he did a good job. So, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower, rinse this mask out, and I will be back and we'll apply some of the silicone scar sheet. Hi, you guys, real quick. I just got done drinking my greens and reds and Miralax. So, I want to tell you guys something real quick before I show you my scar. Do as I say, not as I do, you guys. I stopped taking Miralax probably a week and a half ago and that was like the worst thing I could have done for my body so after 
I had my tummy tuck. I had muscle repair too at the same time. I don't know why I said after. But I was really religious about taking Miralax before my surgery. And then I was taking it after up until a week and a half ago. And you guys, you don't want to do that because you're going to strain and that's not good for your muscles. So just do as I say, not as I do. Keep drinking your Miralax. Miralax is super important. So ignore the headpiece, you guys. I just got out of the shower. I went ahead and lotioned up. I wanted to go ahead and show you. I took the scar tape off. So this, if you are wondering what my scar looks like, this is what it looks like. Very fresh, very, oh, let me try to get some better lighting so you guys can see. I apologize. I'm still learning the settings on my camera. So here we go, better lighting. Okay, I hope those settings are better. Um, so like I said, I got a little bit of chemical burn from the tape that I had previously on. Um, you can see slowly that the scar will fade. It's a lot better looking than what the scar was that I had before. It was like this thick, it went all the way down. So there's my belly button. Okay, let's start from this side. I am still so swollen. You guys, I am gonna go ahead and call Dr. Brujano after I get off of here real quick just to make sure everything is okay because I am having a lot of pain right there. Hi you guys, I called Plaster Surgeons of Alaska and talked to one of the PAs over there, told her what was going on with my um, swelling and my discomfort in my belly and she said more than likely, I'm not drinking enough water so I have my gallon sized jug there, halfway empty and then she said more than likely, you guys were all adults here, the pain was from not drinking the Miralax so my stool hardened and it was causing discomfort. So. Water is going to help you big time with your swelling and moving things throughout your body. So just stay hydrated and drink your Miralax. And I don't know why, and I just want to be, I'm a hypochondriac, I, I worry. So I wanted to go ahead and give him a call and make sure everything is okay. So yeah, he did a pretty good job. I love how thin, thin it is. Um... It's very thin. I'm very swollen. I can't, I can't get down here, you guys. There you go. So yeah, that is what I am looking like. So that little, in, that spot I showed you guys before that closed up, it's looking nice. Um, that is the scar from my drain tube. And then I have another one somewhere over here, probably a lot lower. Nope, that one's scarred over nicely. So I was told, I was told from <clears throat> the PA, I need to go ahead and massage my incision for probably 10 minutes at a time using either vitamin E oil or coconut oil. So that would help break down the scar tissue. And I haven't done that yet. I just now took the tape off from my last appointment. So I'm going to go ahead and put this silicone scar tape on and then I'll talk to you guys in just a little bit.
silicone tape on. You guys saw my scar. You saw how I use the binder and how I put the binder on myself. Again, the binder is the thing that goes around me. Um, I switch between the binder and the faja. I personally like to wear the faja with jeans. I am wearing jeans. Um, not right now. When I'm home, I do, this is what you'll see me in. A skims top, my binder, and sweatpants. You guys, I'm super excited. So I bought that silicone tape from Amazon because I saw a lot of women of color post tummy tuck. Their scars look super dark, and my scar does look however dark. But I feel like it's going to lighten up really well. Like, you can see my scar right there. And then I have a scar right here on my face. Excuse me. I, I think scars don't bother me. The scar that was on my belly before the tummy tuck, Dr. Aaron Bruhanu fixed that. And honestly, that scar didn't bother me that much. So I have a feeling this scar is not going to bother me that much. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see where I will be six months from now with the swelling and with the scar. You guys, I am not going to get down about the swelling. I know it's from me shoveling. <clears throat> I know I overdid it. So if you are watching this and you are overdoing it, stop because you're going to slow down your recovery process like I did. Um, yeah, it's not worth it. We spent a lot of money on this. You want to go ahead and do as much as you can to rest. Um, with that being said, I went to, if you were in Alaska, I got this. This is turmeric drops. I got this from All About Herbs. Um, I'm sure you guys can get these. These are just turmeric drops. So I got those because I went in there two days after that big shoveling thing and I was like, I look like I have a bowling ball in my belly. My swelling is just so bad. When I went in there, I explained to the lady what is going on and she goes, why don't you try these turmeric drops? So I'm on day three. I will keep you guys updated. If that helps me with swelling, um, I probably should, it says you can take them up to two to five times a day. I'm just taking them one time a day, easing my way into it um, and drinking my water. Um, yeah, if you can drink water, well, you should be drinking water, but if you can drink a gallon of water a day, I was given the okay from my doctor. The more water, the better. Um, <clears throat> I was also given the okay. Sorry, I keep clearing my throat, you guys. Um, I was given the okay to go work out, but honestly, I'm not going to lift anything heavy. She said, no, 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 no. She said I can go walk on the treadmill. That is what she said. She did not tell me to lift anything more than, I think she said 10 pounds or 15 pounds. I'll have to call them and ask them. But yeah, there's no weight lifting for me. So I have my next appointment on the 23rd of January. So I will talk to you guys then to see where I am weight lifting wise, but I highly doubt I'll be lifting then. I really miss it. <laughs> I really, really miss it. So um, one thing I wanted to share with you guys. So I have done my research. I have watched every YouTube video on Tummy Tucks. And I have not heard one single person say this has been a symptom of theirs. So this is one that I am going through right now. So probably about week two and a half, maybe week three. I, every time I'd get up, <clears throat> I am still sleeping on the recliner there. Every time I'd wake up in the morning or if I sat down for a long period of time and got up, my muscles, it would be like this inside. So when I went to my last appointment, I explained to her, I'm like, it feels like there's an earthquake in my belly. Every time I get up or when I wake up in the morning to go to the bathroom, it's like an earthquake. And she explained to me, that is normal. It's just your body waking up like your muscles are waking up. <sighs> so if you have that, don't be alarmed like me. It is normal. Um, I can still kind of feel, I can feel a little bit above my belly button. I have that feeling back. I can't feel my belly button when I touch it. I can't feel my incision. No, no, no. I can feel a part like a right, right here on my right side. I can feel that. Um, it kind of hurts a little bit when I sit like a certain way. So I got the feeling back there. But yeah, can't feel around my belly button still. And it's okay. I know and some women are like two years post tummy tuck and they can't feel there. So I just go with the flow. It's going to be okay. You got to trust the process. Everything will happen when it's supposed to happen. So yeah, turmeric, dro turmeric drops, drinking my water. I am slowly getting back into meal prepping. I'm trying to not eat as much sodium. I'm saying trying 
Um, I just threw a away a bag of chips. I've been snacking on chips, which is probably the worst thing I could do for myself because A, I just got a tummy tuck. Why would you want to go back to where you were, Hannah? Um, two, sodium, super bad. Inflammation, um, I need to do better. So I will definitely be meal prepping. I, I'm excited. I just kind of got out of the funk, if you will, of not being able to do things because now I feel like I'm able to do a lot more, like drive, go places, do things. So yeah, you guys just gotta be patient. Trust the process. If you're going through this, it will happen. You just gotta give it time. So <sighs> I'm out of breath. I need to drink some more water. I need to sit down and rest. I go pick up my kids soon. So with that being said, you guys, I hope that you are happy and healthy. And if you have any questions, I love when you guys comment and ask me a question down in the comment section below because I feel like I'm just like helping someone along. I feel like I'm answering people's questions and I love it. So if you have any questions, just put them down in the comment section below. Give this video a thumbs up. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.